what do people in this neighborhood want to change? And I'd really like to hear from about six women that are sitting there, seven women or eight women, and from this group over here. Now, what was the you know, question? The question is, what do you want to change? What do you want to change? What is there about this neighborhood that you want to change and that you think you can if we get enough people together? <laughs> Yes, ma'am. I want a place for the teenagers so they can stay out of the hallway and off the ground. Mm, familiar. Want a place for the teenagers and young people so they can stay off the corners and out of the hallway. A place so they can go and have their fun and other than standing on the corners. Otherwise, you won't use them. Safe. Nobody knows. What would that place have in it? Would it just be a room like this? No. 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 What kind of things would be in it? Our best ping pong table, ping pong table. That's all. Black hair, Uncle. Black hair, Uncle. Teacher. Teacher. Want some of the teachers from Southside over there? No. That was a good one. Swimming pool. Yeah. All right. This is 1966, man. This is and before they built all crack. those things. This is before crack. 20 years before crack supposedly came and you know, these motherfuckers are asking for fucking the same shit they're asking for now. This could literally be a meeting today if they just colorized it. Well, colorized, all right. But, uh, you know, it's yeah, pretty much verbatim. This guy, Cherokee with the sun man right here. I want to ask you, can I ask you two questions about that? The first question is, that sounds real nice. And I know they got something like that in Montclair, and they got something like that in all the places where the fancy people live. And I know they ain't got nothing like that here, and I know they ain't got nothing like that in Clinton Hill. For a second, I reckon, I got you double checking. Then again, when to your needs did I beckon? Radio and good to go, says you're Get home with you. Oh, 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 oh. Needs fundamental change. Hold it. Not or... Do we have a staff of organizers who go every which way depending on what they think is most important or the people they're working with think is most important? Or do we have organizers that work together as a team around one, two, three, four, whatever is most important? You have people in there that say, well, I've got, I got a bad house. I want to do something about landlords. And somebody else gonna come right behind and say, "I want to do something about police brutality." Certain issues have a high. He just said they want to do something about police brutality. They're talking about police brutality back then. Most important. You have people in there say, "Well, I've got I got a bad house. I want to do something about landlords." And somebody else gonna come right behind and say, "I want to do something about police brutality." Certain issues have a high emotional. Uh, quality. They unlock a great deal of energy. And the police brutality was one of those, and certain meetings we had on the rent control bill seemed to be one of those, and they were rolling for a couple of weeks. A lot of the other things we discuss have low emotional energy, or at least it's hard for organizers to find a way to tap them to make those issues relevant. Now, it seems to me the problems of organizing dominate NCUP staff meetings. Which of the many needs in the neighborhood will most clearly involve people? I've seen so discrepancy is, here. <laughs> These are the people that are tasked with fixing the black community. And I must not have told the Sun people organizers where the meeting was because of racism. Yeah, man. Oh, man. Like, this is unbelievable because we were told crack in the mid 80s ruined the black community, man. We uh, I think back Wiki then, got dropped back. Oh, okay. And we were told then that um, in those days, man, they were walking around um, 
terrified of white people. And if a white person popped up, man, yes, a boss. Uh, uh, what? How do you do, boss? Um, uh, you couldn't make eye contact, and you had to look down, and you know, you had to, um, you know, take your knees head off knocking head. together. Yeah, it was like what? This is not the story we were told, man. Shout out to Merle Monster. He says, um, yo, I, whatever happened with Builder? Yeah, Builder, man, if you out there, man, um, drop by, t- let us know what's up, man, but be brief about it. Man. <laughs> yo, yo, I agree. Yo. Shout out to Builder. Yo, really quick, I, um, you know, it just struck midnight here in Chicago, right? And we do a little thing over here, right, where we try to guess where's the where the first homicide occurs, right? The way mm-hmm. we're part of the city, right? Where will be your guess? I think we'd have the same guess, right? North West Garfield Park, right? Hey, I mean, I was going to West Garfield Park, but no, you can't do it in Orlando, right? Nah, nah, I say North Garfield, man. Yeah, I, I'll let you know. Okay, man. How about when it's going to happen? It's about right about now. Problems <laughs> of organizing dominate NCUP staff meetings. Which of the many needs in the neighborhood will most clearly involve people? What kinds of actions bring people together? What actions lead to change? Staff members. What kind of actions bring people together? Free stuff. What actions lead to change? None of them. Members have ideas, but no firm conclusions. There are no blueprints for community organizing. Instead of blueprints, NCUP members improvise from a set of basic beliefs that the neighborhood needs fundamental change, that those changes can't be imposed from above that those changes might develop from the needs and actions of people in the community. So NCUP members organize. That is, they work in the neighborhood. They try to reach and involve people who have never been consulted, who feel outside society and irrelevant to power. They provoke discussions about need and the possibility of change. Why won't he fix that? Because he got dogs on it. He'll say, well, I'll send somebody down next week. Uh, and uh, next week never come, you know. It's just like uh, what you got to find a gold mine if it's a rainbow. Uh, <laughs> and you don't find no rainbow, you see. This time the poor man start doing something for himself. In urban to live in snow today and you go out there tomorrow, it don't be no snow on the ground. Don't right. snow on the ground. They sweep. They sweep. That's right. And if the snow here, snow lay here on this street for two, three weeks at a time, if what? it doesn't melt, yeah. it's it lay here. It's 63, 61. It lays up for a whole three. Then why don't y'all get the snow up? Yeah, like nobody bothers. You could, you know, so many things you could say. I mean, like at some point, like one per even one guy would be like, you. It don't have to be all of them, right? This one guy be like, hey man, let's go get the snow up, man. The city ain't coming, or the landlord ain't. Landlord ain't getting the snow up. Let's one person couldn't say that. I no rainbow. <laughs> this time the poor man start doing something for himself. In urban to live in snow today, and you go out there tomorrow, it don't be no snow on the ground. Don't right. snow on the ground. They sweep. They sweep. That's right. And if the snow here, snow lay here on this street for two, three weeks at a time, if what? it doesn't melt. It's a lay here. It's 63, 61. It lays up for a whole three months. Until yeah, but, but what happened to the tax money? Right. Went in their pocket. I've been wagging all yeah, the tax money. Went in all the way. Went in the pocket. 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 Went in I mean, dude, it just so you got the wrong people upstairs running it for us. It's time that they know that they can be defeated, and it's time we get out and beat them. And this is what's going to change it. When you we get jobs, money, when we can have money to support our children, when we have the money to support our own selves and have homes like everybody else has, we don't have to live in this. Then. Yeah. When and all that stuff. If. If oh. if we can get everyone to do this, if how if this is a big word, you know what I'm saying? When I go down town and try to get a job, and I go down to this unemployment office, you understand? I tell these people, I said, look here, I want a job. I said, I'm not working. I have four children. You know what they tell me? Well, you fill out this little application. I fill it out. You understand? Now they tell me, what are you capable for? I tell them, well, I'm capable for mostly anything. 
You understand? Because I know I have to say this. Why? Because I know I give me a job. You understand? I'm not committing myself, but saying well, what is the reason, what ain't the reason, but I'm just going to say I know yeah, the reason. Yeah, like, now, what are you doing? They say, well, all right, will you come back tomorrow? Like anything? Just name one thing. I think you heard it. I'll give you talking. I'm speechless, man. <laughs> it's like, yo, man, like, this is 66, man. These people aren't talking about, like, the Klan chasing them down. They're not talking about what. They're talking about not getting free stuff from white people and shit. That's the thing that's like, it's, you know, its absence is, is huge. And every one of these freaking videos that we look at, none of them are saying, yeah, man, the, the Glider gang. It's really fucking us up this week. I mean, I mean, they're probably gonna say, uh, "We don't own anything in our it's, it's the air rags, it's the it's the age, you know, say shit as a day, literally." Hey, yeah, the, to their they, credit, to this guy's credit, uh, I think they're they're more well spoken than they are today. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. What a doubt. What a doubt. Right, right, right. What the fuck do I care if I'm getting robbed, motherfucker? Yeah. Just bizarre. And I'm man. talking about the six. This is 60, 66. God damn, it was a long time ago. What do you mean? Yeah, like, right, so we, we can have power. money to support our children when we have the money to support our own selves and have homes like everybody else has. We have to live in this. Then. Yeah. When and all that stuff. If if oh. if we can get everyone to do this, if how if this is a big word, you know what I'm saying? When I go downtown and try to get a job, and I go down to this unemployment yeah. office, you understand? I tell these people, I said, look here, I want a job. I said, I'm not working. I have four children. You know what they tell me? Well, you fill out this little application. I fill it out. You understand? Know now they tell me, what are you capable for? I tell you, well, I'm capable for mostly anything. You understand? Know because I know I have to say this. Why? Because I know I give me a job. You understand? I'm not committing myself, but saying well, what is the reason, what ain't the reason, but I'm just going to say I know the reason. Now, what are you doing to me? They say, well, all right, will you come back tomorrow? And then maybe Man, I, we might have some for you. You understand? Yeah, no. Now, I come back tomorrow. They tell me to come back next day. Finally, finally. You know what I'll be out there doing? Huh? I'll be out there down down the market right here, trying to load trucks, trying to take care of my four children. You understand? And my wife. And this is the things that I'd be doing. But listen, what about this here? You get a, you go to court, you get a subpoena to move, right? They, they tell you to move. Okay. Now you're supposed to move, but where you gonna move to? Yet yeah, still, they, you, they got a court order to put you out. Yes, well, still, yes. You when your furniture and everything is put on the street and your children are put on the street, then what are you gonna do? You tell you me. You tell well, me. Uh, and then they have a law against. Don't do this. Don't do that. Me and my don't, landlord. Don't, don't me and my landlord to be fighting, fighting. Fighting to death. They say, don't take nothing, right? Before he saw my is this the point? Is this the point? They say, don't uh, do not take. But still in all, you have to have your children out right. here starving with right. nothing to eat. And you right. can't even get a job. <laughs> now, you just tell me, I mean, what's right? Well, see, we know, know it's not right. Uh, we, we they know it's not right. Yeah. They know it's not right. But they've been doing that so long and nobody, I mean, it's, 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 if people get together and try to try to change that, then it could probably could be changed. If everybody get together, we can fight it. But as long as everybody walk on by and don't speak up and don't try to look out for not just themselves, but everybody, the majority, then we would all have a little more than we got right now. Yeah, the better advantage. Right. Amen. When organizers draw out the anger and frustration people feel about conditions in the neighborhood. They also draw out people's doubt and despair about the possibilities for change. People's experience indicates that nothing changes and that the power which controls the neighborhood is immune to anything they could do. Organizers have no easy answers to that doubt and despair. What they argue is the possibility that united action might build power. That if people could come together... He said the power that controls the neighborhood. Like why is that assumed? Why why aren't they in charge of their own damn neighborhood? Yeah, I, I just or is it government know. housing? Is it all government? This is housing? government housing, or you know, rent uh, 
they're all renters at the least. It looks like they're all talking about having landlords. But it can't all be government housing. And if you're no. a renter, it's still you still have some kind of ownership. I, 